squaring off in a four-round heavyweight bout. Johan Uber, born in Germany, fighting out of Tulsa, Oklahoma. He's 33 years of age, 189 pounds. Professional record of 5-0 with one knockout at 30 amateur fights in Germany. Moved to the U.S. to further his boxing career. Angel Herrera from Liberty Hill, Texas. 28 years of age, 195 pounds, 3, 1, and 2, with one knockout. Gerald Ritter, the referee. This is a four-round heavyweight bout. Protect yourself at all times. Touch him up. Have a good one. Michael Moore to come in our main event, former two-time heavyweight champion against Terrence Lewis. Herrera last fought on November the 4th in Texas. Four-round win against Timothy Scoggins. And Johan Hubert in the other corner, coming off a four-round win against David Robinson in Oklahoma on December the 5th. Hubert, Southpaw, always fitting, being that Michael Moore, the first Southpaw heavyweight ever to win the world championship as our main event tonight. Only fitting we'd have another. It's not cool. Heavyweight. Heavyweight. And then the comparisons end. <laughs> yes, they do. Hubert has a long way to go. So far in his three, five, and old career, has not fought anybody of note. In fact, he's fought one guy twice. Antonio Colbert beat him twice in four round decisions. Stop, stop. I noticed early here that Herrera does not close distance real well. He reaches in and he wants to punch. His legs are not there. His upper body is in front of his leg. As you can see right there. That could leave some real wide openings for you, but he can punch straight in between those punches and at the right time. Hubert's going to get plenty of opportunities to do some counter punch. Herrera did land a right hand in there. Herrera very wide with his punches. Very wide, and he does not bring his feet with him. Just watch. His upper body and his arms get ahead of his leg, ahead of his waist. They have to have that waist on you. They have to have those legs on you when you throw those punches. Two things will happen if your arms are ahead of your legs. One, you'll reach in, leave yourself wide open, you won't have power, and you will fall off bounds. If you fall off bounds, well, that's why I mentioned that you could get some good counter-punching opportunity. Use the right hand jab and then shot the left. Please the crowd. You can play it two ways here, Bob. He can step back like he just did, allow Herrera to do a lot of his work for him by reaching in with those arm punches, falling forward, getting out of position. Then Yubik can just count. Or Yubik can punch inside those wide punches as Herrera begins. Either way, it looks good for Yubik. Only one thing I can see Yubik has to be careful for. Once in a while, he'll post straight back, Bob. You don't want to do that, because then the looping punches, they can land. First to four in the books, controlled by Johan Uber. ...rooms at this facility, so they have a trailer for Michael Moore. Getting no exhaust coming out of the back, so he will be here for the main event. Yeah, he's staying here. That's always a good sign when a fight is in the trailer and the trailer is not moving. <laughs> a good sign. And a good sign right here for you, but is that Herrera reaches in with his punches. Does not bring those legs, but not get that chassis in position. Leaves himself out of position and wide open. Round one controlled by Hubert. I don't think Hubert should be this close. Because when he's close, he doesn't take advantage of those claws in Herrera. Doesn't bring him out. Herrera can be effective in close. And look, 
He is being effective. Yeah, Hubert sort of walking right into the wide punches of Herrera. Well, look, Bob, when Herrera's inside, his legs are there already. Now he's not so inefficient. Now he can just wing away. When he's on the outside, Herrera has big problems. He doesn't negotiate distance well. He will reach in before his legs are there. But if Hubert doesn't create distance and make Herrera reach in, well, those openings are not going to be there. And Herrera will be okay. In other words, Hubert wants to be on the outside. Create havoc. Create gaps. When Hubert creates those gaps, he needs to punch with the shorter, crisper punches inside the wide, slow punches of Herrera. That's where the advantage for Hubert can really be exploited. If you watch on the outside here. Herrera will reach in. And what Hubert needs to do is fill those spots. When inside, when Hubert is on the inside like he is now, those spots don't create themselves. Hubert should definitely be trying to keep a little more space on the outside with Herrera. One other thing I just noticed that Hubert is doing more. Watch how he goes defensive a little bit too soon sometimes. And when he goes defensive, making that head movement like that, he allows Herrera to close the gap. Instead of going defensive, he should just punch like he did there. Get his hands on. Yeah, Herrera getting things done in this round with help from Hubert. The anybody, the they put anybody in those crossword puzzles nowadays. <laughs> you notice the rest of the puzzle was blank. That's the only answer he was able to come up with. Glad he was able to come up with it. It would have made me feel a little bit self-conscious, just a tiny bit. I thought, little, it was, little I thought it was going to say Teddy Atlas, of course. <laughs> round number three underway between Angel Herrera in the blue and white and Johan Hubert in the white trunks. No knockdowns in the fight. Herrera able to get things done in the second round largely because Hubert allowed him to. Hubert's a southpaw. Two reasons why Hubert should not be on the inside. One, he doesn't take advantage, as I've said already, of Herrera having that terrible flaw of reaching in. Herrera needs distance to reach in. Hubert should give him that distance. Also, when Hubert, the southpaw, is inside, being a southpaw is negating on the outside. Hubert can take advantage of being a southpaw. Have to distance all those punches from unusual angles to the orthodox Herrera. On the inside, there's no real big difference of being a southpaw. Everything pretty much the same for Herrera. On the outside, hey, big difference. Herrera has to deal with the southpaw style with a southpaw jam with a left hand coming from further back than it normally comes with an orthodox fighter. Even with a right hook. Herrera's not very artistic, not very sound technique-wise, but you know what? He's landing punches, Teddy. We didn't hurt Hubert. I said it the last round. Hubert was choosing the wrong place to be in this fight. Choosing the wrong style, going inside. His corner should get right on him and tell him, hey, there's one place you belong in this fight with this particular fighter on the outside. Make your man reach in. Make him do half of your work so you can create counter opportunities. Instead, Hubert's on the inside. All those counter opportunities are disappearing. Herrera is able to be the boss on the inside. As you said, he's able to be just raw, tough, rock'em, sock'em. He's able to fight that kind of fight and get away with that kind of fight on the inside. On the outside, he would pay a price. And he's even mixed in the uppercut. Watch you would make too many defensive moves. When he makes these defensive moves, and I love defense, when he makes all these defensive moves, he's allowing Herrera to control the pace, to keep him defensive. And he's not able to pull the, pull the trigger on punches when there's openings. He's too busy moving his head. 
See, there's a head movement, nice head movement by Eubin. But instead, if he would have just punched, he would have caught the white Herrera. Would not allow Herrera to keep him defensive. Hubert outgunned in this third round. Angel Herrera from Liberty Hill, Texas in the blue and white landed 23 power shots in round number two. Arnicelli and K.O. Jack on him. While well, Eubin was busy moving his head, Herrera was busy moving his head. That simple. That's what that came down to. Nothing pretty, nothing artistic. Box. But Hubert helping Herrera out because he's walked into a lot of these wide punches. What makes this fight interesting is the men with the better skills, the better technique, is losing this fight, at least in our estimation, because he's not but using his skills, not using his technique, not choosing the right fight plan. Man must have a plan, Bob. And right now, Hubert does not have the right plan. Not taking advantage of the flaws of Herrera. There's flaws in Herrera, but they're not being exposed. Those flaws are on the outside. When Herrera reaches in without bringing his feet, leaves himself wide open. But right now, Hubert is making it real comfortable for Herrera. Hubert's taking it on the inside. Where those flaws of Herrera are not brought out. It's that simple. And you can see that right from the beginning. Unfortunately for Hubert, he didn't see it, and his cornerman didn't see it. And Hubert has walked into so many wide punches. Hubert has been Herrera's best offense. He has enabled the sloppy technique of Herrera to be effective. And now Herrera mixing up his punches, combinations, even mixing in the uppercut. And Hubert was hurt there a couple times. Hubert's only chance now is too late to do it the right way. Right now, the right way is to punch inside with short punches. To punch inside those wide punches of Herrera on the inside. Not go defensive, but punch with...